hi guys welcome and welcome back again to my youtube channel i'm susan and as for my channel name is gifted suzy so if you are new here feel much welcome in the family and thank you so much for choosing to click onto this video i really appreciate you so much and i'm very much thankful and kindly please if you have not yet subscribed consider subscribing to match that red button there which is written subscribe turn on the notification bell so that Anytime when I do upload a new video, you'll be the first one to be notified for my returning subscribers. Thank you so, so much. I'm Lily and I'm also very much humbled the subscriptions. For today's video, I'm going to talk about money, money. Yeah. Money, it's something that is very tricky if you don't use it in a light way. And for the light purpose, you may find out that at the end of your two-year contract you have done nothing or maybe you have not done anything after the repair that you've done yes, today i need us to look about the tricks of saving your money here yeah, tricks of saving your money here in gulf countries sometimes it depends a lot and a lot once you're done with your two-year contract and you have nothing that you can celebrate of, you have nothing that you can celebrate of, or else you have nothing that you can say for the two-year contract, this is what I've done, or maybe this is what I've done. So let us see what are some of the ways that you can do for us to be able to achieve our goals. One thing is that have a clear reason as to why you need to save your money yes have that clear reason and if possible i to write down that thing that you need to save if you need to save to buy a tv or maybe if you need to save to buy a lot write it down and let it stick and sink into your mind i will be saving every month in order for me to achieve this in order for me to buy this in order for me to start a business in order for me to buy a tv in order for me to buy a product have that clear reason as to why you need to save your money the next thing is make sure every end month you have a, you've set aside a certain amount of money that you've said this is what i will be saving every month every month in order for me to achieve the thing that i need to achieve and for saving every month it depends with the goal that you need to achieve like maybe if you need to start um 20,000 business every end month if you can be able to be putting like maybe 2000 2000 2000 by the time you're done with the two year contract you'll have achieved your 20,000 and like maybe if there is someone who needs to buy like maybe uh, a prod he or she may need to save more so that at the period of the two year she will have achieved what she had intended to achieve so have that clear reason the next thing it's set aside a certain amount of money that you will be saving each and every month and kindly the money that you've said this is what i will be saving each and every month even if there is something that has happened in between don't interfere with that money at all because if you interfere with it you may not be able to return it yeah and 1000 it's not called 1000 when there isn't just one shilling so kaidri if you say i will be setting aside the 20000 shillings set it to the 20000 shillings and in case anything happen you will not deduct the money and maybe you say i will return it back you may not return it back yeah you may not return it back and also the other ad make sure what you intend to or what you are saving for you've done uh, research and know how much can it cost if it is starting a certain business you just look how does it go on or you just for now we are very blessed we've got the 
smartphone whereby you can just google anything or maybe youtube can just watch anything if it's a product that you need to buy in a certain place just go and ask google it will direct you and it will also tell you the certain amount of money that you need to have with you so that you can own that thing do a research and plan yourself no this is what I will be spending and this is what will be going to my saving so that I can achieve my goal. The other thing we should know is that in most cases we found out that back in the country, those people who our family, once we are here, us in diaspora or maybe in Gulf countries, they think that we are earning millions and billions of money. Yeah, that's what they think. They think for us, we don't that work that much. No, it seems as if we are just picking the money on top of trees, of which is not the case. We are really struggling to get the money that we are getting. So for me, what I can tell you is that if you are the one who is being dependent in the by your family to support them, kindly don't raise the standard their standard to a level that you cannot accommodate. And I'm not saying that you should not raise the standard from where they were to a certain level. No, kindly raise them, but don't raise them to a higher point that you cannot be able to facilitate them. Yeah, don't allow them, like maybe if you're back in the country, you are living in a like 2,000 Kenyan shillings house, and for now that you are here, you are living in a 20,000 Kenyan shillings and your salary it's below that or maybe even it's not that much I I'm very sure most of us whom we are working here like if you are new I'm not sure that I'm very sure there are you unless you have got the side assets the salary has not gone to 15 it's maybe 30 or 38 that's where it is for 50 it's for some people who have stayed here for several years if i'm not i'm not wrong yeah so kindly don't allow that to happen like maybe you may think or they may see as if you're earning a lot and they may schedule the yourself that every like every week every week they should be hitting the meat you no know, if possible, just have the side assets job. Side assets job. If you have, or as maybe in your family, you have someone whom you really trust, you can do the side assets job. And someone may ask you, which side assets job can I do here so that I can tell you that, like maybe for example, if you have someone you trust, your cousin, your niece, you can buy a motorbike. Sacrifice your two month salary, buy a motorbike and every day every day that motorbike it will be giving them money if you are within nairobi area actually they do give motorbike do give 300 per day of which is a very good amount of money when it's compared back in our country so that 300 every day every day, your family is going to be receiving it and once they receive it you will find out that your salary on this side you'll be saving a lot you'll be saving a lot or like maybe the other side also that you can start it like maybe if you are living in the village you can just buy like two or three chicken and then they keep them there and then the chicken by the time you're done with the two-year contract the chicken will have much pride actually it will have much pride and also you will cut off the cost of like maybe buying the meat every week every week they will be just picking the chicken and eating and also we have got eggs they can go to an extent whereby they can even be selling the eggs and getting the money so you will find out that with that you've saved you will have saved a lot when it comes to your salary you'll be you will not be using much of your salary and at the end of the two year contract actually you will enjoy and you'll be so happy for that yeah don't raise them to a standard that you cannot be able to facilitate them like maybe for example if like for today if you can or maybe you can be fired from your hard work can they still be able to accommodate themselves to live in a, in a certain life that they were take note of that take note of that don't just 
listen to what they say or maybe when they tell you so and so died this and this died and for you you just quickly rush to the saving that you and saved and sent to them no first before you reach to a point of helping and kindly please get me well i'm not against helping make sure that before you reach to a point of helping you've helped yourself or you are at the point where but you can help yourself you cannot tell me that i can sleep angry to give out someone food no it may be of no use first to satisfy yourself know that i have something that i can say this is mine so even if i help i've actually i to i have something instead of helping and you are left empty handed no need there is no need of you helping and then you are left empty handed it's not worthy and even it's not worthy at all yeah so we have said one thing have a clear reason as to why you need to save your money the second thing set aside a certain amount of money that you be saving each and every month after you've done a research and know that this the reason as to why you need to save your money it may need a certain amount of money the second thing is that don't be that the third thing it's don't be that genuine the other thing is don't raise your family to a standard that you cannot be able to facilitate them like maybe for example if you are fired or maybe you are done with your job or you are done with your contract and you need to go back in the country they cannot be able to facilitate themselves yeah i just end that few remarks and i hope i have helped someone somewhere i thank you so much for watching me and until we meet in the next one i love you so much